Victoria here. It is Sunday. It is time for the book review from The Walking Dead Rise of the Governor, chapters 11 through 15. But before we get started on that, I just wanted to tell you guys about two books that I got yesterday in the mail from Amazon that I ordered the day before yesterday. The first one being this one, The Snacking Dead, um, which is a parody in a cookbook. I'm really excited to try recipes from this book. I know they're going to be great. They have some they have a recipe in here for uh, chicken wings, which I'm really excited to try this Friday if I have the energy after work. The second book is this one, AMC The Walking Dead, the official cookbook and survival guide. It is a legit survival guide. It teaches you how to can, how to do a whole bunch of things to survive out in the wilderness, as well as um, in, an, in an apocalypse or a post-apocalyptic world without government, without electricity, how to build fires, um, the works, and it also has just basically every single recipe or every single meal The Walking Dead has had um, on the show from seasons one through seven or seasons one through eight, I think. But uh, I, we will get into that on a different uh, show, possibly, maybe, maybe not. We will see. Now it's time to get back to the topic at hand, which is Rise of the Governor, chapters 11 through 15. Where we left off is Philip and uh, Nick, Brian, and Jenny sought shelter with April, Tara, and their father, David. And where we are now in chapters 11 through 15 is Nick actually found a studio apartment on the third floor after they cleared it. Uh, after the, the group cleared the third floor of all the walkers, all the apartments and everything, they went and got supplies and brought it down to the second floor where Tara and April and their father are staying. And Nick found his own apartment there, his studio. He's claiming that one as his own. He's happy there. But every day he goes to visit the, the, the group on the second floor. And Jenny is actually trying to open up to April and Tara, who have um, talked to her and who have you know shared their meals with her or with the group. And Jenny is finding comfort and older females, because she's the only female in um, the group of men, with her father, her uncle, and her father's friend, Nick. And next, um, Philip is actually starting to see a real um, future um, in that apartment building with uh, April and her sister and their father, and Jenny. And he's starting to become really comfortable and really happy there. And... Uh, Next, Nick begins scavenging on his own, making um, checkpoints every so often out th uh, throughout the city, um, venturing farther and farther away from the apartment building. He's making checkpoints, and um, he's either making checkpoints or finding them. I wasn't exactly clear on that, but it um, looks like Nick is actually doing some really good work out there. Um, he actually made a makeshift bridge between the apartment building and another building, so he doesn't have to go down to the ground floor and deal with the walkers, which is actually really smart. And um, unfortunately, uh, David Chalmers, he succumbs to his bronchitis. He had an oxygen tank that he carried with him everywhere. But uh, unfortunately, comes a time in the book where David Chalmers, meet, uh, he met his maker and he passed away uh, with Tara and April uh, by his side. And um, unfortunately, he becomes a walker and attacks Tara, his eldest daughter. Well, he tries to attack her. He does not succeed, and Philip puts him down. There's a fire in the room, uh, which quickly gets put out, but it doesn't do any harm to anyone in the in the building or in the in the apartment. And there's a moment on the rooftop of the apartment building where April and Jenny show Philip. Uh, the rooftop garden that they, that they had made, and they also had put buckets on the roof to gather rainwater so they would have plenty of water. And in the um, rooftop garden, Jenny has this brilliant idea to, to plant uh, bubblegum trees and, and all these wonderful uh, candy, uh, like cotton candy bushes that she is hoping to grow, uh, is hoping to, yeah, grow one day, uh, which is pretty awesome for her. And, um, Philip wants to, uh, later on, a few days later, Philip wants to show uh, April something that he found while he was scavenging with Nick. It's basically this beautiful, um, I think it's this glass bridge that he found when he was with Nick. He wants to show April. It's basically a whole view of the city. 
and it's in incredible. Uh, it's very, it's described beautifully in the book. And, well, one thing leads to another on the ship with April and Philip. Uh, and they start kissing and making out and everything, and April begins to have second thoughts while Philip decides he does not want to stop. He keeps moving forward with the kissing and, and the touching and everything, and unfortunately what that leads to April being raped by Philip. And the next day, Philip wakes up. All of his stuff is gone from his room. Um, his shoes are gone. His back, uh, his backpack is gone. His guns are gone. And um, he goes to the kitchen to make some coffee. And he, when he brings, when he goes to bring April her coffee, he is held at gunpoint by Tara. And apparently, April has obviously and for all the right reasons told Tara what happened between her and Philip the evening before. And so Tara decides uh, that it's time, well, Tara and April decides that it's time for Philip and his group to go immediately. So they, uh, so Tara holds Philip at gunpoint um, as well as uh, Brian. And Nick come down, comes down from the third floor, sees what's going on, and then they all comply with Tara to leave the apartment in the rain with no guns, no food nothing. And that is where we leave off in the book. They are out in the rain, stranded, and they find a bus to take shelter in, and that's where we leave off. A lot of things happened in chapters 11 through 15, but if you want a better take on it, I suggest you buy the book. It is amazing. It is well um, written. and it's So if you want a broader aspect on what happens in the book, I suggest you buy the book. It's amazing. It's um, awesome. It's an incredible adventure of Philip and, and Brian and Nick and Jenny. Um, buy the book. It's great. All right, this is it. I'm signing off for the day. This is Katura. I love you guys. Namaste. Peace out. Have a great day. Enjoy each other and love you guys. Bye-bye.